Hey everybody, welcome back. I want to talk to you today about why your livery resolutions and in some cases your scenery resolutions are robbing you of performance in Microsoft Flight Simulator and what we can do about it. This is Miami International Airport in the foreground. You can see the PMDG 737-800 with the gorgeous American Airlines livery. In the background you can see some other aircraft in their liveries. Looks really nice. I get my liveries from SF FS LTL. And it looks wonderful, but the problem is that a lot of these liveries are rendered at 4K and sometimes even 8K. Now I sim in 2K, so I can't even tell the difference between 2K and 4K or 2K and 8K. Yet my PC and the sim have to render these high resolutions. And what this does, it robs you of performance, makes your sim perform slower, you get lower FPS. The same can be said about sceneries. A lot of the airport sceneries that we use are also in higher K resolutions. In this case, Latin VFR, Miami International Airport, rendered in 4K resolutions. And I can't even see that because again, I sim in 2K. So what can we do about it? There's a program called AI Texture Optimizer and we can use this program to specify the resolution for our liveries and sceneries. We can use this to reduce the resolutions, give us some performance back, and get us better FPS in the sim. Here's the program I'm referring to, AI Texture Optimizer, and I'll put a link in the description to this page. All the steps that I'm gonna go through here are all detailed very nicely on this page. First thing we need to do is install the texture optimizer itself. Click here on the link, download the program. Once you have the program downloaded, you wanna unzip it. Once you've unzipped it, you just run the executable right here. We just click next. And then you wanna find a place to install this, but you do not wanna install it in the program files. You want to select a different location to install the program. So what I'm going to do is create a folder, Texture Optimizer, and I'm going to install the program here. And the simpler the installation location, the easier the next steps are going to be. So there's C, Texture Optimizer. I'm going to click OK, and then Next, and then Install. And here it's finished, we click on finish. Then I'm gonna come here to the installation location and verify that I have these files installed. One of the great things about this program also is that if you do want to uninstall the program, you can simply come here to your installed apps and uninstall it straight from Windows. Now the next thing we need to download is the Compressinator CLI. Click here on the link. I'm gonna specify a folder on my D drive. I'll save it here. Go to the location where you saved the EXE, double click. The installer then opens, click on next. You wanna make sure that it's the command line interface version. The version you're gonna get when you click on the link on the page, but just make sure that it's the command line interface version. This is the version you need. Click on next. Then you wanna specify a location for where you want to install this. Now in my case, what I'm gonna do is install it in C Compressinator. The simpler, again, the simpler you name these folders, the better. Click next and then install. Now we click finish. And again, with this, if you wanna uninstall it, you can also uninstall it from Windows. The next thing we need to do is download Text Converter. And you need to download this and install it in a very specific location. So you click here on Download Text Convert from GitHub. And then what you wanna do is find your install location for the Compressinator. In my case, it's on the C Drive Compressinator folder. And in that Compressinator folder, there's a bin folder. Double click on that. 
Then in there, there is a folder CLI. Double click on that and then click save. And when you do that, you're going to have this text converter in your Compressinator bin CLI folder. It's an executable, it's an application, it's not a zip file, you don't have to unzip it. You just need to save it in the Compressinator bin CLI folder. And now let's run the optimizer. So in your search bar, you come and type CMD to get your command prompt. Don't run it as administrator. And you want to change the directory to the drive where you've got the optimizer saved, which in my case is the C drive. And then you type CD space and then the name of the folder that you saved the texture optimizer to. In my case, it's CD texture space optimizer. Click enter, and then it takes you to the folder you want. And again, this is your install folder. So in my case, it's C texture optimizer. And then what we want to do is run this command line here, right here under user guide. So copy it, come back here to the command prompt and paste it. Then what you want to do is replace source folder with the location of the textures that you want to optimize. Now, in my case, that is the FSLTL liveries. Those are found here. So I'm gonna copy this folder, come here to the command line, and I'm gonna come back to where it says source folder, and I'm gonna delete source folder, then I'm gonna add a quotation mark, and I'm gonna paste that folder location, close quote. Now you see here is resolution and then image resolution and what i want for my particular setup is i want everything in 2k i don't need anything in 4k i don't need anything in 8k so in that case you de you delete that and then i want to change that to 2048 or add 2048 the instructions are all right here the resolutions 4096 is 4k 2048 is 2k 1024 is 1k and then it shows you here what the complete command line should look like. And when I come here and look at mine, extra optimizer, source, my add-ons, traffic programs, FSLTL traffic base, resolution 2048. And now I hit enter and let it run. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna let this run and we'll come back here. You can see we're on 300 of 12,427. So it's going to take a little bit of time. We're about 2% of the way through. So I'm going to let this run and we'll be back shortly. The process is now complete. This took about 45 minutes. And as you can see, it's reduced the size of my liveries from 38 gigabytes to about 14 gigabytes. So that's going to give me a lot better performance because my SIM is not having to load and my PC is not having to process these much higher resolution images. Now let's take a quick look at the output. And what you're going to see is I now have a second folder, a second version of the folder that I've optimized. Now I optimized my FSLTL liveries, and this is the FSLTL traffic base folder. You can see now I have the FSLTL traffic base and the FSL traffic base optimized. What I want to do now is take the FSLTL traffic base, the original folder, and I want to remove that from where I had it. So I'm gonna take it from here in the traffic programs folder that I have. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna paste it into a backup folder that I'm gonna create. And now what I have is the FSLTL traffic base dash optimized. That is the new folder with the reduced size liveries. Then I'm just gonna remove the dash optimized so it's named the same as the original folder. So now I have two things. I have the reduced size liveries in the FSLTL traffic base folder, and I have a backup of the original larger size liveries. So this one is gonna be 38 gigabytes, and the new folder is going to be just about 14. 
So now the program is going to run completely as expected. The FSLTL is going to run completely as expected. And if I have any issues or if I want to restore the original files back, all I have to do is delete this folder that I've created and take my backup folder, drag it back to where it was, and I'm good to go. Now there's a couple other things that we can look at here. You can run this program on a folder containing all your sceneries, whether it's in your community folder, or if you've got different sceneries saved in different places on your computer, and you can use this with individual airports as well if you're having performance issues at a particular airport. Let's do one more just as an example. Once again, I'm going to copy this command line text here, paste it into the command prompt. I'm going to use a Berlin add-on scenery that I have, copy the location, delete the source folder text, open quote, paste the location, close quote. And for image resolution, I'm going to put 2048 and hit enter. All right, so now this process is finished. That took about 10 minutes. And you can see it reduced the overall size of the scenery from 4.3 to 3.9 gigabytes. It's what, about 10%. But those particular textures that it reduced could be textures that cause an issue. They could be 4K, they could be 8K. So I can now expect this scenery to perform a little bit better. And we'll go back into the folder here and look at what we have to do. So once again, we have the eddb-berlin original scenery that I had, and the eddb-berlin optimized. And what I wanna do, again, I'm gonna create a backup folder right here. Name it backup. I'm gonna drag the original folder into that backup. Now I'm gonna rename the optimized folder, I'm just gonna delete the dash optimized. And now I've got my optimized Berlin scenery and I'm ready to go. As you can see, there's a lot of uses for this particular program. You can use it on sceneries, aircraft, liveries, and not only is it gonna help you with performance, it's also gonna help you with disk space, for example. The website will be linked in the description where you can download everything and there's some very detailed instructions this video is not really easy to make in terms of including every detail because there's a lot to it, but it's actually quite easy to do once you get the hang of it. All the instructions are here on this site. If you have any issues in doing this, if you have any questions, or if you have any success stories, we'd really like to hear about those. If you could put those in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. And I hope this is something that helps you guys out, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks.